What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. In today's video, I'm gonna go over why resellers are paying a huge price for not doing eBay a very specific way. I'm gonna go over five of the biggest killers for resellers in this video. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing. Let's get in the video. Okay, resellers are paying a huge price right now by not doing eBay in this exact order. If you do it this exact way, it's gonna save you a tremendous amount of time. So let's just start with how I did it. I actually have a video right here where I do 10 listings, shipping, listing, photography, all in 41 minutes. So essentially, I could run a $100,000 a year business in just one hour. And I learned this from my colleague, Tech and Sports, and we run a mentorship together at patreon.com slash the resource podcast. But let me go over the exact order with you guys right now, and you should do it all in one session. So first thing you do for the day, check your customer service, get your shipping done for the day. Once that's all knocked out, you don't have to worry about your shipping. That's really time sensitive. Then you get straight into your photography, knock out all your photography. Once you finish that, transfer that to your computer. Or if you list from your phone, list all the items on your phone immediately. And then at the end of the day, I call this reset to zero. You prepare all the items for the next day's photography. If you do that all in a row, it's gonna take you less than one hour to do less than 10 listings. It really infuriates me that people stretch this out all day long, and I'm gonna go over exactly the cost of that. Stretching everything out, taking it all day long to do one hour of work is really, really hurting your eBay business. So my name is Chris. I'm a seven figure reseller. If you haven't been here before, um, the average person coming here can do 105 listings their first day. It doesn't require any training because everything is exactly the same every single day. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And then Christine, my videographer and I, we are going to build out a little studio like this in the second unit. So people can actually come here and learn how to do 105 listings things in one day. So I mean, we're talking about doing more listings in one day than people do all month. So I want people to be that efficient. So we'll see you guys in the video. The number one killer for resellers is actually distractions. So I'm at my photo station right now. The actual mechanics of taking a photo, holding the shutter down for a half second to focus the item and then pressing the shutter button only takes about three seconds per photo. So times that by 12 photos, the maximum photos, we're talking 36 seconds of actually taking the pictures. That's how long an eBay photo set should take. Now, where people spend the majority of their time is staging the item. So they're getting the item ready, uh, whether you have a flat lay or you use a photo box, whatever system you use, staging often takes the longest. So people confuse, I think, staging with prepping. And so people are prepping items while they're photographing and they get distracted. They end up needing to repair something or sew something or test something and they leave the photography station to go do something else. For me, I don't have to move at all for my photos. I can just stay in the same place, finish all my photos in a row. People are spending a lot of wasted time moving around, doing things that they're not supposed to when they're taking photos. I recommend if you are easily distracted, please use a camera and not your cell phone. Um, for me, I basically turn it on airplane mode and just knock my photos out all in a row. So to give you an idea of how damaging it is to be distracted, you lose around 20 minutes every single time somebody interrupts you. That could be a text message, a phone call, a family member, your dog, anything pops up, you lose 20 minutes every time that happens. And the average person gets distracted seven times per hour. So essentially an hour goes by and you haven't done a single listing. You haven't taken a single photo because you got distracted more than three times. So it's really important to just condense all your photos into just one short period. If you do it this way, where all your items are to your left, you photograph them and they go to your right. If you're right-handed, the opposite if you're left-handed, it takes about one minute to take one set of photos. So we're talking 60 sets of photos in one hour, if you just do it this way. Um, there is no longer way to do it if you don't count any of the prep and testing. That's why I recommend you prepping, testing, grading, repairing, at the end of your day, not during your photos, that's gonna make this task take 10 times longer. Number two is that momentum is key. If you're already in motion, you can keep doing the same thing easier and easier and it becomes more efficient. So when we do shipping, we do shipping all the way through. I see a lot of people do one or two packages and then go back and do some listing, go back, do some photography, and that's a huge mistake. Momentum only starts to kick in, in my opinion, after about an hour of doing it, at least half an hour of doing the same tasks if you wanna become more efficient. That's why people really, really guard the, their momentum and they don't wanna miss, let's say, more than one day in a row of listing because it's now you're developing the momentum of missing your goal. You want to stay on track, so never miss more than one day. If you're listing, 
or, or you're doing shipping, I recommend you don't get off track more than one. Let's say you're doing shipping and somebody calls you. After that's done, go back and then finish your shipping. You're going to get distracted. I get distracted 20 or 30 times a day. I probably get 100 text messages and 500 emails a day. I still get my work done because right now we're filming. So we just film all the way through before I move to the next task. It's really important to develop momentum and finish one task all the way through before moving to the next one. Number three, this is a huge productivity killer. And I think this is mental health. This is people getting in their own way. This is people self-sabotaging. And I think that comes from doing something different every single day. If you go to a normal job, work nine to five, oftentimes those people, in my opinion, have more stable mental health because they sort of know what paycheck is coming. They sort of know what work is coming. But every, every single day you had to do a different job, you would be super stressed out. You'd be super frustrated. You would never know what's gonna happen. That would result in poor mental health. That would affect your sleep. That would literally manifest itself in physical traits that prevent you from being consistent. So I think something really important that helps with mental health, at least for me, is to schedule something that's not work related in the day to give you a reason to finish earlier. A lot of people extend a one hour eBay day into 18 hours because they have nothing to look forward to. They have no friends to hang out with. They have no uh, pet they want to spend time with. They, there's no food they want to go and eat. There's no hobby that they want to do. So if there's nothing motivating you to finish earlier, then truly it might take you all day to finish your listing go but for me the greatest gift that tech and sports gave me was being able to finish earlier i can do more things now i can grow my business larger if i choose to do that i think a lot of people are confused when they watch what he's doing and think oh i don't want to work that much he doesn't have to work he's just working for fun uh, when you're at that level, you can do whatever you want with your time and he chooses to work more. Some people choose to work more. Some people choose to go on vacation. But if you don't have anything planned, I guarantee you, you will not finish on time. And that's really, really bad for your mental health, especially missing your goal over and over and over again. You're going to start to hate yourself and have low self-worth. So I recommend small goal, get it done as soon as possible. If you crush your small goal, you can do more. So appreciate you guys really tuning in on this because I think these are huge killers in people's productivity. And the difference between listing five a day and 10 a day is tens of thousands of dollars a year. It's a huge difference. So make sure you pay attention to these little things. The number four biggest killer is mistakes. If you end up taking a break in between each task, you increase the chances of making a mistake. So one of the big turning points in my business, I think I went from $40,000 a month to $80,000 a month. I doubled up once I stopped taking photos all in one session and then the next day do the listing. Now I do all the photos that I'm gonna list that day only at that, that time. So I don't have any piles of things that are photographed but not listed. And I don't have any things that are listed and not put away. So it increases your defect rate when you separate things out. So that's why I recommend you do it all in a row. And I just want to give you a couple of, of examples of this. In the morning call, I, my mind was blown. I was super triggered because somebody said, I want to watch two hours of TV a day uh, and I want to do two hours of listing a day. So what's the difference between me doing two hours of TV in the middle of my listing versus doing all the listing first and then all the TV after? I want to split it up. It's the same. Two plus two is four. And that's absolutely not true. And then this person also followed up and said, I want to know the numbers. I want to know the statistics. I don't want to hear about people's opinions. Well, here's the thing. You're not really multitasking. You're switching from one task to the other. And the attention residue from the TV is carrying on into your listing. And the listing residue is carrying on into your TV. You can't even enjoy TV properly, in my opinion, if you're thinking about some item specifics from the previous item. It absolutely is not the same. It takes way longer switching back and forth. Two plus two sounds like it's four, but I guarantee you if you separate it out, watch half an hour of TV, two listings, half an hour of TV, five listings, it's going to take you way longer than four hours. This is, this is proven over and over again by all those articles talking about how multitasking is a myth. And I understand maybe you want to do two hours of TV and you want the freedom and flexibility to do whatever you want, but I'm just telling you right now, it's not efficient to do that. Even if I was doing van life or I wanted to do super duper work-life balance, I would still do the work first. I know that sounds crazy, but if I was doing van life on the beach and I needed one hour a day to maintain my van life lifestyle, I would do it the first hour of the day. That way I could enjoy the rest of the day on the beach. And I think the most beautiful part of choosing your own freedom 
is not thinking about the work that you need to do. So why wouldn't you do the hardest part of your day first? So I recommend highly you do all your work first and it's just like a regular job. I think if you have a nine to five, you traditionally have more hobbies than people who are solopreneurs and entrepreneurs end up having no time. And I hate that saying, I'd rather work 80 hours on my own business than 40 hours for someone else. Why? Why can't you work 40 hours for yourself instead of 80 hours? There's no reason to drag out a 48 hour job in the 80 hours. You thought you hated your nine to five. What if they told you instead of um, nine to five, it's seven in the morning till midnight, but we're going to pay you the same. There's no way that you would sign up for that. But if your boss tells you, if you finish your task and you can go home a half an hour early, you take that deal every time. So why don't you take that deal with yourself when you work for yourself? I guarantee you'll be more happy if you get all your work done first. Before we get into tip number five, please make sure you smash the like button and consider subscribing. Biggest mistake number five is not having appointments. So for me personally, I have six major appointments every single day. Uh, I need to make a YouTube video. Um, I need to run my business, which is the Facebook group of Tech and Sports. We mentor about 2000 people in our Facebook group. So that's appointment number two, and I do that seven days a week. Appointment number three is I run a seven figure resale business. So I need to make sure all the supplies, all the pieces are in place, all the people are in place. That's appointment number three. Appointment number four is to my daughter. I hang out with her every single day. Appointment number five is with my wife. Appointment number six is for my own self-help. And that comes from sleeping right, eating right, exercising. All of these are appointments because they're important to me. So if you don't make an appointment, I guarantee you, you will not be consistent. So habits are better than motivation. I personally don't care about motivation. I never feel like it. I just have these six priorities in my life that are really, really important to me. And I can prove it by showing you my calendar right? Walking myself throughout the day, I wake up in the morning, I do exercise, I do my Zoom call, which is my mentorship in the morning. We mentor people live on Zoom every single day. After that, hang out with my daughter for two hours, take her to childcare, come here, set up my shop. Once the shop is set up, we film a video. After the video, I work on the shop a little bit more. There's a hard stop at four. I have to go pick up my daughter, hang out with my daughter for a couple hours before she goes to sleep, hang out with my wife the rest of the day, time her to go to sleep around 9, 9.30. Sometimes I end up staying up till 11 because I need a little more time to unwind. But it's pretty much the same every single day and I only do things that are important to me. So if I look at your bank account and if I look at your calendar, I can tell you what your priorities are. So I appreciate you guys. Please smash the like button. Consider joining our mentorship at patreon.com slash the resource podcast. We can help you build your reseller nirvana, which is selling and listing the same number of items a day. So whatever your listing goal is between one a day, just getting started and 500 a day, you want to make a million dollars a year. We have the roadmap for you. So we appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Make progress daily.